Okay, whenever you're ready. Okay. Hello, my name is Adrian Reyes and I'm the Social Media One Group. Today I will be speaking to you about friending your parents on Facebook. Now this may not seem like such a big issue, but a lot of teens don't feel that they should that they have the enough trust of him enough to friend their parents. And teenagers shouldn't feel ashamed to have to parent friend their parents on Facebook because it is beneficial not just for the parents but for the teens as well. I'm gonna divide this into two sections, which is teens that don't the example of teens that don't want to friend their parents on Facebook and why they shouldn't worry and why they should friend them anyways. First, teens don't want to friend their parents on Facebook because they feel embarrassed to friend their parents on Facebook. They feel ashamed or because whenever they have them, they feel like they might embarrass them on their wall or say stupid stuff, for example. In an article that I found, a Washington Post titled, When Mom or Dad Asked to Be a Facebook Friend, posted by Laurie Aratoni on March 9, 2008, we see an example of Lily Goldberg who publicly states that having her parents on Facebook just seems a bit weird. In the same article, we, he we see another example from Mike Yemet and his friends who opened up a page called Abolish Parents from Facebook, they were opening up initially as a joke, but they were surprised when over 500 people joined, giving them examples of how much they didn't like the idea of having their parents on Facebook, with many of them stating how they would delete their parents' accounts when they weren't looking. A reason why teenagers may feel ashamed to have their parents on Facebook is because parents tend to be overprotective sometimes, so are teenagers. In an article from appscout.pcmag.com, written by Trey Dreyer, it shows how, oh, which is, uh, which is, we can see on this, what the hell? It's all right, just work your way through it. In a picture that I had there. Go, go, to, the, go to the next slide. Oh. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's just, um, I, I, I want this to work for you. Okay. Um, I had a picture there. No, 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 no. Let's, let's let's see if we can get it up there. Um, go back to your to your email. I'm very sorry about this. Yeah, just go, go where it says up there. With your your name is there. That's all right. Take, take your time. No, that's not your name. There you go. It's failed. Yes. This isn't No, no, it's not embarrassing. It's not your fault. This is totally this is totally this equipment that which should have been fixed. Okay. Uh, just close that out. Uh, go to oh, where it says speech one thirteen fall. Let's try that again. And click on where you click on your name. Uh, yeah. Um, you can try dragging the file onto a Google Docs account and we can open it there. Well, we can use a flash drive. Okay. Um, just tell us what the picture was about. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. This is not your fault. You know, it's it's the computer. It should have been fixed. I had a picture there from appscout.pcmag.com by Tro Troy Dreyer, and it showed how 34% parents of teenage children would snoop through their, not just their kids' Facebook accounts, but through their kids' friends' Facebook accounts, and even their kids' friends' parents' Facebook accounts, so they could, so they could figure out who their friends were talking to. And also, parents tend to be protective towards kids because parents tend to lose confidence in kids as they grow older the more that they use online. In an interesting survey conducted by Heart Research on 2011, September 14th, it shows how parents with kids aged 14 to 17, 38% feel that they're very safe online, compared to the 52% of parents who feel the same way if their children are aged 8 to 10. And over 50% of parents feel kids are very safe if they go online one through four hours a week. However, 33% feel that their kids are very safe if they use it 10 or more hours a week. Now, teens shouldn't feel worried to have their parents on Facebook because it is beneficial to the teens. In an article from USA Today, from Mike Klein in January 22nd, 2012, called Teens, Parents Face, over, Face Off Over Facebook, it shows that teens' brains aren't fully developed until they reach their early 20s. So if you have your parents' guidance to tell you what is, normal, what is rec recommendable
able to post and what not to post. It'll help you in the long run. And it helps you build your trust back with your parents because you, it lets them know that you're responsible. If you have them on Facebook and aren't ashamed to have them on Facebook. On the Washington Times article, published in January 28, 2009, called Social Network Benefits Validated, Karen Goldberg says, it is not that kids are untrustworthy, it is that they often lack processing skills and parents need to explain that images may be damaging. And how does it benefit the parents? First of all, it rejuvenates your relationship with your teenage child, brings trust back to the family, and I had a picture there as well that shows how using social media correctly can benefit a child's professional skills, leadership skills, learning skills, identity skills, and relationship skills from facebookforparents.org. What I went over with you today was why teens don't want to add parents on Facebook and why it's recommendable for them to add parents on Facebook. And I had a picture there of a little devil and a little angel over Facebook stating how whatever you make of the situation, it could be good for you or bad for you because if you approach the situation the right way with your parents, over Facebook, it could be an angel, it could be all good, but if you approach it the wrong way, it will be the devil, it will be terrible. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, if our next speaker, try to get your PowerPoint up, see if it's, see if it's working.